Hey up everyone, welcome to Martin Lucas Investor Channel. I'm Vaz. Do you know what time it is? It's time to start talking EV tolls. And also, I would like to talk about application in emergency response of the EV toll technology. Namely, firefighting. Because today, we'll be talking about Ehang, Chinese manufacturer Ehang, and their vehicle EH216F. For today's video, we will compare or we will talk about the S and F version and explain the basis. We'll quickly go through some characteristics of the vehicle. I will explain the firefighting equipment and then at the end of the video, I will show you the actual application. So please do bear with me. Before we do that, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't done it yet. And for those who want to keep in touch with all EV toll market insights, and also to help me uh, grow on X, here is my X account. The handle is at EVTOLHUB, EV toll hub. I do I put a lot of insights I can't fit in my all of my videos. Uh, I put a lot of news and updates. As of this week, I've started reviewing price targets for each EV toll manufacturing company. So I think that's that's invitation good enough. Now let's get on with the video, shall we? The Ehang 216S, which is the civil civil version, and the 216F is the firefighting version. I will actually show you a video. My better speak to itself better. The 216 stands for Two passengers, 16 propellers, as simple as it can get. And this vehicle is basically a large drone, which, can, which, has, which has two seats to carry passengers. It's designed for short trips. It's fully autonomous. I always get carried away. Look at that. That's, that's the future on the screen in front of you. Right. Let's get back to our firefighting version. So it's a, it's a fairly small aircraft. The wingspan is about three, 33 feet or 10 meters if you're not if you're not American. The empty weight I, th I believe is about 200 250 kg uh, plus the payload. We are we are in the region of 450 kg uh, loaded, which is about 900 maybe thousand pounds. Brief characteristics. The speed, the top cruising speed is about 80 miles per hour, which translates to about 130 kilometers per hour. You can be in the air for the duration of about 21 minutes, which is giving us distance around 22 miles or 35 kilometers, if you will. However, the firefighting version is designed for very small or rather small operational radius between three and five kilometers or two to three miles, if you will. The platform control is remote and or autonomous. For the firefighting equipment, I will just quickly go through it. I will debrief and then I will show you the video of the actual application and you will, you will surely you will understand. So basically we are taking out our seats and we are installing up to 150 liter foam tank. The foam is fire retardant organic based foam, which is pumped through high pressure nozzle. I believe this can give us up to 100 seconds or 110 seconds of fire suppression. If this is not good enough or along with that, we have basically mounted six bazookas or rocket launchers on top of the vehicle. You will see it shortly, it's amazing. Which deploy six fine dry powder projectiles. And these can suppress, these are fire suppressant projectiles and they can fight all three common fire types, A, B, C. On board we have also uh, up to 10x optical zoom camera and the whole construction is fully sealed uh, it's watertight and dust resistant. It's heat resistant as well. And the whole construction is more, is more rugged. So it's more, more uh, resistant to impact and uh, the environment. What is the main advantage of this firefighting drone or EV toll? 
Well, if you look at Asian cities, uh, the infrastructure in Asian cities is overloaded. Uh, massive issue with traffic congestions. And if you have your emergency response service going on the road, they can pick up certainly a lot of delay. And we know in Asian cities, we have a lot of high raised buildings as well. And every now and then you see some unfortunate videos from uh, Asian cities where we have some disasters. The response unit was not on site in time or was not good enough because the building was too tall to tackle the fire. So main application of this, <clears throat> of this vehicle, uh, it can be operational either as a sole unit, <clears throat> as a single, single vehicle, or they can operate in swarms. The civil version EH216S has achieved full CAAC type certification back in 2013. <clears throat> Excuse me. That means it can be operational on, in the Chinese aerospace. The firefighting version has passed Chinese firefighting equipment testing criteria. That means it's fit for the purpose. However, neither of these versions have been certified internationally yet. The price tag should be that the passenger version is about $330,000 for the Chinese market and I believe up to four hundred forty for uh, the other markets than Chinese. So the price tag is estimated in the range of three hundred to four hundred thousand dollars. And we also I could find the first customers. One of them is <clears throat> Aerotree Group from Malaysia, who have got both the civil and the firefighting version on their order book. Now let's get on with the actual application, shall we? So this is your base case, high race building. The vehicle is loaded with six rocket launchers literally on top. They are now loading with the fire suppressant projectiles, uh, 16 propellers. Look at that. Laser aiming device for accuracy. Uh, the pole sticking out, the very obvious pole, is the uh, high-pressure nozzle, and in the undercarriage, you can see you can see the the tank. So first of all, <laughs> as simple as it is, we just shoot the projectile through the window. It starts putting the fire out uh, because it cuts out uh, supply of oxygen, which is fuel for the fire, and along with that we use our fire retardant foam. And that's it. As simple as that. Well, I hope you like the video. Uh, I would like to do this little mini-series when I will be talking about each eVTOL aircraft. I think we can get better traction with our audience and also you will have better understanding of the concept of eVTOLs. So if you like this video, please do let me know and I will be looking into bringing you more details about other aircraft from other markets and from other manufacturers. That's it for now. Up here, you can see my playlist. Up here, there's a video recommended by either YouTube or Martin. You will see me soon. Take care of yourselves and each other.